Hey, I just wanted to share with you a couple of user-defined functions that I've created that'll help you to work with feet and inches in Excel. Um, working in feet and inches is a pain in the ass at the best of times. Uh, in Excel, it's an absolute nightmare. But until our friends in the United States adopt the metric system, here's hoping, um, we're stuck with this and we have to work around it. So um, here's how I go about it. Um, I'd like to be able to express in Excel values using the um, uh, the more traditional, say, 15 foot 3 and 37 64ths of an inch, and then work with this as a value. Um, this is just text currently, and so I can't do anything with it. I can't multiply it. Um, it's just dumb text. So I want to convert that to a value. So I, I do that. Um, using a user-defined function that I've created that's called string to feet and this will convert that value or that string to an equivalent value in feet. Um, obviously uh, the corresponding function to this is how do you convert it from the value back to the string um, so the function for that is feet to string and it's converted it back. Well, not quite. You'll notice the, the two values differ slightly. Uh, it was 37 64 now it's 9 16 That's because by default my function feet to string will round um, the input value to the nearest 16th of an inch. Um, you can increase or decrease this precision um, by adding a second argument to this function. It's an optional argument. Um, so I can put a comma in here and then enter a new denominator um, the denominator of the inch fraction that I want to um, express this in so here it would be 64 and now it's expressed it to the nearest 64th of an inch like I say you could go the other way you could decrease the precision um, for example if I entered a 2 it would round it to the nearest half inch which in this case would be three and a half inches. Similarly, if I wanted to round this value to the nearest inch, I could enter a denominator of one, and that'll give me 15 foot and four inches. So a couple of other features of these functions. Um, the first function, uh, string to feet, this has a couple of um, basic um, error checking or error handling um, that will let you know if you've entered the, uh, the, the string in the wrong format. So for example, if you forget to put the, uh, the inch symbol in, it'll let you know that that's missing. Uh, or if you separate your feet and inches with a space instead of a hyphen, it'll similarly let you know that the hyphen's missing. Uh, speaking of which, if you don't like the, um, the format in which, um, these strings are expressed if you prefer a space instead of a hyphen um, that can pretty readily be achieved um, you can contact me and I'll, I'll help you um, work around that but that's outside the scope of this video um, the second function um, feet to string like I say that has um, the ability to change the precision uh, and a second um, feature of this is I'm able to change whether or not the inch fraction is expressed using superscript and subscript uh, so you can see the input did not use su uh, superscript subscript the output does. Um, personally I prefer it that way uh, some people might find it difficult to read with a smaller font um, if that's you, you can put a comma in here and enter a zero, and it gets rid of the superscript subscript. Okay, so how do you add this to Excel? Well, um, this uh, to add this to Excel, you need to add um, a module containing um, some code into the Visual Basic application. So um, you open this up with Alt F11. And here you can see I've got one book open called Book 1. 
and there is a single module added called feet and inches. So if I were to remove this, um, then these functions would stop working. They still appear to be working here, but if I hit F9 on the keyboard to regenerate this spreadsheet, you can see that it's giving me an error saying that the name string to feet and the function name feet to string, these are no longer being recognized because the, uh, the, the um, functions or the code uh, has been removed. So to add that back in, um, you right click on the um, current VBA project for the workbook that you want to add to, go input file, and then you add the feedinches.bas file uh, which I'll make available. So that's added that back in here and here's the code. Okay now with that added back in if I hit F9 again the functions are working again. So um, there's a bit more to it than that that I go into uh, in my blog uh, if you're interested if, if, if you want to nerd out a little bit but I think that um, gives an adequate demonstration of how these work and I hope you find that useful.